while ago, Kim and I ended up in Washington, D.C. lobbying for anti-trafficking legislation. And after we individually met with our own congressmen and women, we amazingly got a meeting with Representative Christopher Smith. And the reason that Chris Smith is important is because back in 2000, he wrote the very first anti-trafficking legislation. We came into his office and we were led onto these couches and amidst family photos and chocolate chip cookies on the coffee table. And I had my notebook with me and I was ready to take some ferocious notes. And the first thing I asked him was, what would you tell the ordinary citizen, the ordinary American woman, how she can make a difference in the fight against human trafficking? And the answer that he gave Kim and I forever changed us. He said, pray. He said, I cannot stress enough the importance of prayer in the fight against this evil. He said, back in 2000, when I wrote this legislation, nobody cared about this issue. He said, my bill, it was dead a hundred times, a hundred times. He said, but I prayed, and I had a team of devoted people praying for this legislation, and it passed, and it still exists, and it still needs to constantly be updated. Kim and I left that office really reflecting on what does this mean to be a biblical advocate for the ordinary person? to live out our faith, to live out our theology, and be a voice for the voiceless. And there are certain things that we started to reflect on what's in the scriptures and what's modeled to us of what being a biblical advocate is. You know, in the prophets, they had a humility, but they had a boldness, and they spoke truth to power. It's also patience and perseverance. The original abolitionists, many of those women died and never saw the Emancipation Proclamation ever signed, but they kept moving. They kept pushing forward and they kept fighting against this evil in their world. If you were going to get involved with your group of friends, I can't stress enough, Kim and I cannot stress enough that you do not have to be experts on this topic. But what you can do with your group is get specific. And the more specific you get, the more effective you will be. What part of this evil is breaking your heart? Is it children on the cocoa plantations? Is it the um, sex trafficking in Cambodia? Is it local domestic workers who don't have their papers and can't leave? And a great place to start is to meet together. Start educating yourselves. And then start building relationships. Build relationships with your city council members and find out what is going on in your own community. Being an advocate and doing it together with a group of like-minded women is effective and it works and it changes the world. And as Chris Smith told all of us, and is such a truth, pray. Because the simple and powerful act of prayer, we all refuse to do.